One of the decision structures that's supported by C-sharp is the if statement. The if statement is used to execute code conditionally based on the value of a Boolean expression. So in this example, you'll see that we have a Boolean expression in parentheses immediately after the if. If that expression is true, then we can execute the statement or statement block immediately underneath that expression. We also have support for else if blocks if you want to continue to evaluate additional expressions, or we have an else block. If none of the conditions above match, then the code inside the else block could execute. Notice that at the very top of this listing, before the namespace declaration, we have a using statement, using system. What this means is that any of the classes that are defined within the system namespace can actually be referenced just by using the name of the class. You don't have to use the full reference of system dot class name. So as we come down to our earlier example, where we are writing data out to the console using the console class, it's really not necessary to say system dot console because the system namespace has already been referenced. We can just refer to the console class directly. The other thing that we've thrown in here, here is the if statement. Now you'll notice that this looks pretty much like the example that we previously saw. Inside the parentheses after the if statement, we have the Boolean expression that we wish to evaluate. Then we have the statement or statements that we wish to run if this expression evaluates to true. Even though it's not necessary for me to put in these open and closed curly braces, I've done that anyway simply because I think it makes the code easier to read and to go back and maintain. Technically, you only have to put those in if there's more than one line of code that we want to execute when the statement evaluates to true. You'll also notice that we have an else block. So if this statement is not true, then the code inside the else block will run. Once again, I've got the curly braces. They're not absolutely necessary, but sometimes we code for maintenance, not necessarily just for functionality. 